Welcome back to Anafal's look on the Spring 2014 lineup. Today's entry is the sports genre, a type of show which has seen a resurgence in recent years and is represented by four series for the spring session. Let's get our boots on and kick off with our selection today. Our first entry is Roughneck Wrestler Matsutaro. Our tale is about the life of a ruffian named Matsutaro, who has incredible strength and a natural at the art of sumo wrestling. However, he has a very reckless personality, meaning he doesn't take responsibility for his actions or have any goals in life. The anime chronicles his rise to becoming a proper sumo wrestler. It's strange for a company like Toei to not pull out a trailer for what is meant to be a series aimed at the young male demographic. There's little to get excited about in terms of visual content. The website for the show is very sparse in terms of information too. No trailer here for this one. However, the fact that Matsutaro is unlike a typical shonen hero in that he has no dream to speak of at the start of the series is quite refreshing, in that he is an untapped vessel capable of great things. I'll reserve judgement for now until I can see some proper content. My priority rating is medium. Our second entry onto the court is Baby Steps. Eichiro, more commonly known as Ichan, is a bright young student who is bored with life and needs to find an outlet for his frustration. He stumbles upon the school's tennis club and is instantly enthralled with the intricacies of the sport. With all his heart, Ichan quickly rises to the occasion and throws himself headfirst into the art of tennis. Now as soon as you read this, I bet most of you are thinking about the show Prince of Tennis and will immediately begin comparing the two shows. However, it seems that based on initial research, once again, no trailer, that this is a purely tennis anime. Little romance going on. Ichan is driven to become the best at tennis. Another thing that I've gleaned from my research is that people are excited with Baby Steps being adapted. It has a strong following, and based on its fan base, it's a very real show with minimal moments of bonkers special attacks or heightened supernatural moments. Worth a look. My priority rating here is medium. For the third quarter, we have Haikyuu, or HQ. Haikyuu is about a student named Shoyo who grew to love the sport of volleyball after watching it on TV. Despite the fact that he's shorter than most players, he wishes to emulate the small giant, a lauded figurehead for smaller volleyball players. Shoyo eventually recruits five other players, but is defeated by Tobio, another skilled player. Shoyo devotes his life to one day beat Tobio in another match. I'm getting massive free and Naruto vibes here. The whole intense male-centric character roster coupled with the determination of a sparky lighthead protagonist to become the absolute number one. Its presentation is very slick and truly adds a lot of drama to an already fast-paced sport. Although most people would be familiar with female volleyball, I'm looking at you young male audience members, you cheeky devils, male volleyball is just as popular and as such, it makes sense for there to be an anime. I can see this become popular in Western markets, and I'll certainly check this out. Probably my favourite sports show this season based on initial impression. My review priority rating for this is medium high. Now let's take a look at the trailer, which I was able to find at last. Rounding things up, we have Ping Pong, the animation. Makoto and Yukata, known as Smile and Peko, are both members of the local table tennis club. Their teacher observes that they both have great talent as they both frequently play against one another. The teacher spots that Smile's attitude is the one thing that is holding him back from becoming a great player, and this story recounts Smile's development into becoming a competitive player in the field. This looks a lot different to most anime. It has its own style, which is a lot more realistic, and at the same time is able to be more artistic than real life ever could. It's like a combination of both worlds, and it's come together into a striking and unique visual presentation, which is likely to not be popular with those seeking the the typical anime spread. This is meant to be a tale of table tennis. Simple as drama and action in spades, or table tennis bats. My review priority rating for this is medium high. Check out the trailer and see what you think. <laughs> That's game set and match for the sports genre for Spring 2014. Most of it is a mystery, and we'll have to wait until the season has begun before we can get the final scores in. Tune in next time for the anime genre biggie, the sci-fi mecha genre. It's gonna be a big one. Until next time, catch you later.